Truck one is off. Right away on a gloomy morning. <laughs> Ah yes, today's video is brought to you once again, thankfully, by none other than Simply Safe. There just really is no safe, like Simply Safe. Morning, by the way, and a gloomy one it is. The dogs are gone. They must be off on another adventure. I don't know what they've been getting into lately. We're down to 140 acres of corn left, but we're falling behind on tillage. Dad's back home now, so he's gonna take the combine for the day. I'm gonna get this unit running with the Mendeco Storm so we can go VT some of those stocks that didn't harvest very nicely. The other day when I took this thing out to set it up, one of the harrow sections or the drag section back here was standing too straight up. So then it was bunching up with residue or trash from the corn that we had harvested. And it's easily adjustable, you just pull this pin and this handle goes back and forth, but something must have got into this one because it's stuck pretty good. But I'm hopeful if I can hit it in the right spot here and get the pin out, it'll free up. The pin did come out really easy. So then, then why doesn't it want to? Well, there we go. That's weird, something must have bent this. So it isn't exactly right. Maybe I'll smack that with a hammer. It's in the right spot. It's just like something, uh, something got in there and I don't know. That unit is ready to take out and try. But I gotta get a semi truck out to those guys so they have somewhere to go with corn. Anyone who knows anything about hopper bottoms, have you seen this before? Hmm? All three new trailers do that. And it's not like it's a crazy steep incline here. It's a little bit of incline but that thing's off the ground by two inches. Does anybody know? We have adjusted the ride height. I don't know. It is most certainly a gloomy day out there today. Look at that, perfect timing. First truck of the day is full. dryer moving right away. No point in letting that stand idle. And Alan is off with this truck. And in the meantime, it's starting to rain a little bit. Not like a lot, but you can definitely feel the raindrops. These raindrops keep falling on my head. That doesn't mean my eyes will soon be turning red. I'm sorry. Nobody under the age of 70 knows that song besides me. Which means like eight of you know that song. Hmm. Shoot. That really kind of grew into something there. But I will not be stopping until I have to. <laughs> and I do not have to yet. I'm never gonna stop the rain by complaining. Look at those big, bad monster hydraulic cylinders go to work. This machine, this implement, is not exactly supposed to rake it all black. The biggest, single biggest thing I want it for out here right now is to chop these long stringy stalks up because those are just not going to go through the field cultivator in the spring. Although I hate how it makes it so you can see all the cobs that we left behind. That hurts a little. A lot actually, because this was a decent field. And we left too much of it behind with the way that wind and the rootworm damage was. What I really like is that this one is 33 feet wide and we can drive 10 miles per hour. That's how you cover some acres. Inspection time. 
just to make sure our depth is close and everything looks right out here. I'm not going real deep. We don't necessarily need to go very deep with this machine. But that's, that might be too shallow. I like it. I like what it's doing. I don't like this on the windshield though. Not a fan. It would have been awesome if it could have rained like in July. Five to four. Yeah, go ahead. I think I got the, the uh, VT going pretty good down in the south border. Do you think I should keep going here and work in the fertilizer and chop up the stocks, or do you think I should go grab the ripper and take that over to Stippers? Either one is mine, I think. Uh, yeah, either one. If I think around the ripper, you think, or would it be in the VT? I would think he could run either one, but I'll, I'll, I'll stick in the VT for now then, since I'm down here and I'm going. And uh, I'll maybe give him a call in a little bit to see if he's got his math homework caught up yet. Okay, yeah, I think that's probably okay. Yeah, we got a little rain and the stones are wet, but I think the chips are good two rounds ago. I'll check them in another round, and then now I think the sun's gonna come out. Yeah, I've been running my wipers. I mean, not the whole time, but yeah, there's definitely drops coming down that don't really stop now. Eight. Two things I love, being able to check in on the air system and the dryer. Come on, focus, would you? Anyway, I love being able to use cameras to make sure everything looks okay at home. Holidays are coming up here, and uh, if you guys are going to be gone, you're worried a little bit about your home, or maybe you're going to be having guests over and you want to make sure you're keeping everyone safe, I would recommend checking into Simply Safe. For us personally, it has saved our butts a couple of times. Um, we caught a freeze issue here when a door got left open in the middle of January once. We also caught a water issue in our basement after a big storm. Simply Safe has got 24-7 live guard protection, which means there are agents ready to spring into action to keep you safe. They will contact you, they'll check on the situation, they'll contact first responders, contact fire, fire department, whoever it might be that needs contacting locally, get them out to your place and get them on top of things. Here we've got freeze sensors, a water sensor, we've got a motion sensor, carbon monoxide and smoke, we've got glass break sensors, we've got it all, we are loaded down with stuff. I think I'm even gonna put one of these live cameras like I've got right here over into my new office here so that I can make sure things are going good right here and I can talk to you know the burglars when they come and stop by. That way if they need any help, I can just discuss it with them in the moment. You can customize your own order like I did. It'll come right to your house. You can install it all yourself just like I did within a matter of minutes or you can have it professionally installed. It's less than a dollar a day and there are no long-term hidden contracts or any of that nonsense. And right now, get this, you can save up to 50% on your own system when you sign up for Fast Protect monitoring. That's, that's half. And you can get your first month for free. All you gotta do is go to simplysafe.com slash millennial farmer to customize your own order right now. I don't know how they do it. There just really is no safe, like Simply Safe. And then I also love being able to use the souk up, my souk up app so I can see and control the temperatures and the speeds of the grain dryer. Between those two things, that is some serious peace of mind when it comes to the grain dryer because things can go bad in a hurry. Even though I can, I can kind of see it from here, but I can't really, I can't, can't really. I got about 60 acres done here, I'm guessing, in what felt like a, an hour and a half. If you want more, you can wait here and I'll make a round and come back so we can jump go to the north again. I'm gonna run home now and check on the dryer. And I'm gonna have to give these guys some rides because they're finishing up on the 40 acres they're at now. At now. We're gonna move up the road to our final 100 acres of the year. Hallelujah. Everything's still running around here. That's good. I'm gonna double check the moisture coming out the back of it again just to make sure the sensor is telling me the truth on my phone. Put a little bit of government juice in the grain cart tractor. We got that fueled up. The combine is good because we fueled that up last night. Feels dang good to be moving to the last field. I sure hope this dripping from the sky quits pretty soon. My truck doesn't seem to be getting any cleaner lately. Let's go pick up Alan and bring him to the other truck. It's not as bad as it was the last And machinery beats even on the radio. Combine, but be careful. Getting plenty warm enough around these parts now. I can get rid of this. 
and expose to you my farm around and find out shirt which is now available in hoodies I gotta get rid of these though there we go safety first well you need a sharper knife Zach yeah I do Anna yeah I do time to get another piece of tillage moving here Onyx has never run this big rig down the road so I'm gonna move this thing up the road and he's gonna follow me in that but then he's taking over just making sure all the shanks and everything look good JP finished this field out here yesterday so that was good <laughs> Time to add a little bit of black to the field we harvested yesterday. Every once in a while you get random weirdos that show up and follow you around. But then some days Sam comes over. Well it's funny seeing you, I was looking for the Casey's. The Casey's gas station? Yeah, I'm running low on my Casey's oh, water. Oh, there are multiple within a couple miles of here. <laughs> for now we're just gonna ignore Sam, he's gonna do his thing. This is working out pretty nice, actually ripping goes really nice when the stalks are a little bit wet it seems like when things are less fluffy the ripper just does a better job look at that I think we're being stocked on it must be the CIA or something again I'm just kidding it's Sam I got you guys good one round is plenty he's driven the other 9570s plenty of times Yeah, yeah. They're easier than the VT tools that go 12 miles per hour. Yeah, that's where I almost get run over a lot. We gotta go back, dogs. You ready? Do you, do you not like ranger rides anymore? You can't leave the yard without these two with. If you do, they take off after you. They will chase you for miles. So anytime this thing moves, they've gotta be in it. They decided that. And back again. Oh, you're locked in? What the heck? I can't. What's going on? Let's try this door. Now they're all confused. Didge. Other side, Didge. <laughs> They've never come out that door before. Confusing, huh? Dad called and said we're going to need another truck up there and have two truck drivers. It's a little bit farther away. It's about five, six miles, and the corn's yielding decent. So I'm going to check the oil on the peat and probably wait for my signal to head up with the truck. And of course check the tire pressures. 100, 100, 100. 18 different tires all at exactly 100 pounds. Unfortunately some of the corn is down here as well. We weren't really expecting that, but it's not nearly as bad as what we were dealing with earlier. So that is definitely the good thing. Sam out here doing the tough work. Cool. Did you watch that? No, I didn't just watch that. Damn, I was I playing good. with my own stupid camera. That's all I'm saying. I'm good. I'm starting to wonder if he actually likes coming to visit or he's just after the drone footage. <laughs> it's a little of column A, a little of column B. <laughs> he just needs friends with combines. Friends in general. <laughs> Finishing up some andros here in the corner. I don't know how many acres he has down, but andros seem to add up to a lot of acres. Truck is full. Well, see you later. See you later. If you don't follow Kibble Man Sam, previously Tillage Man Sam, he's Kibble Man Sam now. If you don't follow him on social media, you should. What are you doing? He's a nice guy and it's about the only way he feels good about himself is by getting followers on social media. Our neighbors have cool semis. I always have. Onyx got a decent chunk of this field done. He's got to take off for hockey practice now, so we're going to leave the tractor here. I'm hoping Josh is going to come run it later. I left the keys in there, if that's fine. That's fine. That's a sharp shirt. I bet people can get that at our store in the link below. Mm -hmm. That is a bad Peterbilt right there. 
For now, I'll just go back to work in my plain Jane P800 Peterbilt. Peter, Peter, what? This is definitely not a Peterbilt, but they're all the same company anyway. There's a lot of back and forth going on here. I think I saw something here when I pulled up. Yeah. Tube is bent. Arm is off. That's the port brackets broke and the tarp is ripped. Something had to... Something caught that. I'm tall enough to jump up there and knock this down, so I got it. It's, uh got damage. I don't know. Crap happens. And we fix crap. Last load of the night. It's getting late enough. We're down to about 40 acres left. Not just in this field, but for the year. That's it. I got to run. It's late. I gotta go pick up Isla. Thanks for watching. <laughs>